Hi, I am Arjun. In this session, we will see how to solve the problems on fins. This is a given problem. Find the temperature distribution and heat transfer through a fin of thickness 5 mm and height 50 mm and width 1000 mm. The heat transfer coefficient around the fin is 10 watt per meter square degree Kelvin. And the ambient temperature is 28 degree centigrade. The base of the fin is at 108 degree centigrade. Take K is equals to thermal conductivity as 50 watt per meter degree Kelvin and uh, use two elements. Oh, this is a particular diagram that I have given. Okay, now let us, okay, uh, first we need to find out the perimeter and uh, area. So, perimeter P is equals to 2 times B plus T. So, 2 times b so 1 meter so let us convert, convert everything into meter so b is 1000 mm i will convert it into 1 meter thickness is 5 mm so 5 into 10 power minus 3 so now this perimeter happens to be 2.01 meter and area is equals to b into t again 1 into 5 into 10 power minus 3 so area is 5 into 10 power minus 3 meter square okay now so thermal conductivity matrix k is equal to k a by l plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 so now k is 50 area is 5 into 10 power minus 3 divided by length is so since we are splitting this into two elements so 25 mm so 0 0.025 meters into plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 so after simplification this happens to be 10 minus 10 minus 10 plus 10 since element 1 is made up of node 1 and 2 we will mark this as 1 2 and uh, similarly now for element 2 I now I will write directly so 50 into 5 into 10 power minus 3 divided by even length remains m 0 0.025 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and uh, after simplification so again we will have same values we will get same values plus 10 minus 10 minus 10 plus 10 since element 2 is made up of node 2 and 3 2 3 2 3 and the global thermal conductivity matrix global thermal conductivity matrix can be represented like this k is equals to k is equals to plus 10, minus 10, 0, minus 10, 20, minus 10, 0, minus 10, 10. Now this is a global thermal conductivity matrix. And uh, so in the next step, what we have to do is, we need to find out the element conductivity matrix due to convection. So, So element conductivity matrix element conductivity matrix due to convection is given by H is equal to P H L divided by six into two. 1, 1, 2, this is a matrix used to find out uh, uh, the convection, so which is P is, we have find out that value perimeter 2.01, H is 10 and length is 0 0.025 meter, so all the values we are entering in terms of meter divided by 6, 2, 1, 1, 2, 
So after simplification, uh, value of H at element conductivity matrix due to convection happens to be 0 0.1675, 0 0.08375, 0 0.08375, 0 0.1675 this is for element 1 so similarly for element 2 since material properties are same for uh, element 1 and 2 we can directly write the same values for element 2 0 0.1675 0 0.08375 0 0.08375 0 0.1675 is for element 2 and now this global matrix for conductivity due to convection can be represented like this 0 0.1675 0 0.08375 0 0 0.08375 so 0 0.335 we need to add this value so 2 cross 2 we have 2 elements so this 2 will be added this 2 will be added together to give this value so 0 0.08375 0 0 0.08375 and 0 0.1675 this is the global element conductivity matrix due to convection and now we need to find out force vector so force vector Fe will be P H L T infinity divided by 2 plus 1 plus 1 so So P is 0 0.21, H is 10, L is 0 0.025, T infinity is 28. So this uh, T infinity is in terms of uh, Kelvin. So let us convert this into say degree centigrade. So it will become three not one. So let us have three not one divided by 2 plus 1 plus 1 so after simplification we will get this as 75.62 75.62 similarly again global force vector for element 2 so for element 2 since all the properties are same PHL T infinity divided by 2 plus 1 plus 1 again we will get the same matrix 75.62 75.62 this is 1 1 2 1 2 3 now by adding these two matrices so global force vector will be 75.62 151.24 and 75.62 now global thermal conductivity matrix general equation for global thermal conductivity matrix can be written like this so k into t plus H into T, now we have convection, so C into T, we don't have specific heat matrix and global force vector, we don't have specific heat matrix, so it will become 0 and we have uh, convection and we have convection, so we need to add uh, the matrices that we have obtained here, so now K, first I will write for K, 10, minus 10, 0, minus 10, 20, minus 10, 0, minus 10, plus 10, 
so t t1 t2 t3 so h matrix 0 0.1675 0 0.08375 0 0 0.08375 0 0.335 0 0.08375 0 0 0.08375 and 0 0.1675 into the temperatures T1, T2, T3 and the force vector 75.62 151.24 and 75.62 so now uh, we have to simplify this since we know one temperature T1 temperature T1 is known which is uh, 108 uh, degree Kelvin so let us convert this into degree centigrade so 108 plus 273 so that will become 381 degrees centigrade so now simplifying this solving this for uh, unknown values unknown temperatures so since uh, since we know the temperature at node 1 what we can do is we can uh, write the global thermal conductivity matrix now on simplification this matrix will be simplified to 10.1675 minus 9.91625 0 minus 9.91625 20.335 minus 9.91625 0 minus 9.91625 10.1675 into T1, T2, T3 the global force vector 75.62 151.24 now since we know this temperature so we can consider we can directly delete this row on this column and now I'll consider this equation to simplify. So now this matrix multiplication that is minus 9.91625 into T1, 20.335 into T2, minus 9.312 into T3. So now it can be simplified like this. Now we have to reduce this 3 cross 3 to 2 cross 2, 9.91625 T1 plus 20. Point 335 T2 minus 9.91625 T3 is equals to 151.24 so this is 151.24 now let us substitute this value 9.91625 into value of T1 is 381 381 plus 20.335 T2 minus 9.91625 T3 is equals to 151.24 after simplification and transferring this to the other side so this happens to be 20.335 T2 minus 9.91625 T3 is equals to 3929.331 and now we can delete this to Close this row and this column. Now the simplified matrix will be 20.335. So this term, this term, these two terms. So minus 9.91625, minus 9.91625, and 10.1675. So we will have T2 and T3. So now this value need to be added this for a particular function this function 151.24 so 3929.331 and 75.62 upon simplification we will get the value of T2 as 375.39 degree Kelvin and T3 as 373.5 
373.55 degree Kelvin sorry degree centigrade because we have converted every value into degree centigrade so now the temperature will much can be represented like this T1 is 381 degree centigrade T2 is 375.39 and T3 is 373.55 degree centigrade these are the nodal temperatures thank you